Good morning, you are watching me almost live because it's just before the afternoon here in Poland in my little studio. Now I'm going to show you the material from my visit at Merida headquarters. Uh, this is going to be the European version of a gravel bike, interesting one. And then at the end, if you're my subscriber, uh, some updates about my shoulder uh, and the power meter pedals and some, some other channel updates, so stay tuned for that. Now we're gonna roll the tape with the Merida Silex. Some really interesting feature. Is this going to be the endurance gravel bike you would choose? Let's just see. Is this the gravel endurance bike? What? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. All right, all right. Uh, it's, you know, the gravel thing is, from my point of view, very, you know, American driven mm -hmm. because they have wide gravel roads and they do maybe use it differently than what we would use it here in Europe. You know, um, in Europe we have great cycle paths. Um, sometimes they are um, a little bit gravel, um, maybe through light forest roads or even on pavement. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the, um, the perfect bike for what we call it, maybe multi-road or road gravel, you know, good time bike. What does it bring from the like a gravel world or the endurance? world of, of the bicycles? Um, I think it's, it's the ma major focus on this bike is um, having a good time on the bike, which includes you can ride the bike for a long time. Mm -hmm. So this is what I think it's endurance. Endurance is you should ride the bike as long as you want mm -hmm. and not getting sore and feel bad. So yes, it is endurance, but not, you know, some brands market their endurance bike as road endurance bike and it's still racy yes, yes, um, yes this takes out the race the pure race character okay so it is endurance but it's you know leisure endurance i would say mm -hmm. i can notice uh, the seat post which is pretty similar to this on the big nine it's except same seat post all right yeah so it will flex just nicely it will flex a lot uh -huh. it's 30.9 millimeter um, and then you know the whole bike tries to combine two worlds it tries to combine the mountain bike world and the road bike world. Mm -hmm. um, and you have various or different signs on the bike which show that's a road bike or that comes from the mountain bike. And this is a great bike for people who start or who, who, who get their way into the world of cycling and they don't know what to do. So uh, we noticed many people buy a cross bike, but the design of a cross bike is very, you know, sportive driven. You have a very sportive geometry. And this bike um, is more, you know, like I said, having a good time bike. And the major idea is you don't know where to go. You basically imagine you go in the garage and say, okay, today is a nice day. Um, and you sit on the bike and while you're riding, you decide where you ride. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a nice mental freedom you get with the bike. Um, some signs which are obviously mountain bike are the seat post 30 Point nine millimeters, um, which technically are dropper post. So if people want to do it more off-road style, right. they can go on dropper post. But again, such a diameter supports the strength of the seat post with the saddlebags. Imagine you have a 15 liter saddlebag with your camping gear or gear when you ride to France. Um, you need to have a little bit more strong support. Mm -hmm. And then another sign of the wheel set. This is actually a mountain bike wheel set in the bike. It's a 29er wheel set at the Red Passion 3 with 20 millim 21 uh, millimeter internal width, uh -huh. which is designed to be a mountain bike yeah. rim. It's a little bit old fashioned um, for a mountain bike, but it's great. It's great for that kind of purpose. Um, it's light, it's 1500 grams, it's white, and it's tubeless ready. So, what do you want more? Yeah. And I can see a lot of clearance for the tire. Oh, yeah. Um, on, uh, the stock bike comes with 35 millimeter tire. On this rim, it turns out to be more like 36, a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. um, but we have clearance on 700C up to 42, or depends on the tire, maybe even 44. Mm -hmm. um, we can go up to 50 millimeters or 2.1, 2.2 um, on 650 uh, 650B. So you can put on a mountain bike wheel set, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm riding 2.2. Yeah, so you can put in, depends on the, you know, depends on the knobs or what brand it is, yeah. um, but you can, there's a good likelihood that you can ride this uh, tire in this bike. Um, or you can go uh, 37 millimeters on 700C with fenders. 
So we have special fenders for that bike, um, which will work perfectly on bad weather. Many, many different attachment points. We have water bottle cages here, here. We have two underneath the BB and then the standard. So we have um, five in total. Oh yeah, wow. So you can <laughs> load up the bike with various of stuff. You can either go with um, a lot of water if you want to, or you put on, we have special cages with dry bags you can put here on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and it's, it's just nice. Um, I did a trip, you know, my friends live here um, 300 kilometers away. Uh, and I just went with the bike to them to the overnight camping trip carried on all year. I don't need a backpack because riding a road bike or a road bike oriented bike with a backpack is just painful mm -hmm. because certain time you get sore even if the backpack is not heavy you keep a lot of weight on your back and that's something you want to avoid and put on as much as possible yeah, on the let bike. Let the bike do the work. Exactly. exactly. Um, we can see very robust uh, fork just at the head tube area and then pretty thin mm -hmm. going down. Is it for some flex. comfort? Yeah, oh, it is yeah. for the flex. For the okay. flex, yeah. Uh, are there any other uh, areas in the frame where you were focusing on, on some, some flexibility? Um, of course, the seat post. The seat post is um, you know, a key point of the bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the flat seat stays that they are you know, okay. not oval and they can deflect all in this direction. Mm -hmm. The key or the heart of the bike is its geometry. Um, it's a very, you know, uncommon approach we took. Um, the reach is very long for a road bike. Um, it goes already again into the mountain bike direction um, and we combine that long reach with a very long um, head tube. Because then, again, like I said, many enthusiast riders tend to put on uh, many spaces. Um, we said, okay, uh, on the one hand, too many spaces under the, on the, the stem uh, are not beneficial for stiffness mm -hmm. because you have a very stiff area from here to here and then you just um, have a jump in terms of diameter which yeah. get thin and um, that's you know, not, not, mm -hmm. not great and of course you you have a very long head tube basically the same position on the bike but with a slant stem looks always better it looks like a sportive bike even if it rides comfortable mm -hmm. so we have the long head tube what does it mean um, the person on the bike sits relatively upright no matter where he puts his hands on. And then uh, many people with a road bike never ride in the drops. They can basically buy a drop, uh, a flat bar bike and would be better off. Mm -hmm. But with this bike, I guarantee that 90% of the people will ride in the drops. Yes. And this is very helpful if you take such a bike on rougher roads. I think many of us did the experience riding a cyclocross bike on rough terrain. Um, especially when it's getting steep, you need to, you, you only have control if you're right in the drops. So because you can just break with one finger here, if you put your hands here, you just you grab the bar here power. and you don't have control of mm -hmm. the bike. Mm -hmm. So you are forced to ride in the drops. And with the cyclocross bike, your center of gravity, so your, where your body weight sits, yeah. moves forward. And the bike is very slow. So you have always the feeling, ooh, I'm falling over. Mm -hmm. So with this bike, Never. No problem. With no that. problem. Honestly. So we have the one by eleven drop train yep. here, but two by compatible. Two by compatible, mm -hmm. but f I believe that a one by system is um, the perfect application for that bike. Um, we spec our bikes all one by Sadex bikes with a forty four front chain wing, uh, chain ring, and eleven forty two cassette. Mm -hmm. You have all the gears you need in one hand, mm -hmm. easy, and that's also a nice experience. Mentally, if you don't need to watch a chain line, um, oh, do you need to shift the front rear or not? So okay. just go for it and slam the, the gears if you want to climb and shift down. Just having fun. Just having fun. That's all about the bike. All right. So this is the endurance but non-racing bike. Interesting one. And I do think the same, uh, do feel the same about the drops on many, many road bikes that amateur cyclists do ride. As a matter of fact, I've made the video about do you really need drop bars, an uh, old one. Uh, the link is in the description. Now the update. So uh, it's been eight days after my crash and my, my shoulder, my, uh, my back, my neck is getting much, much better. The doctor said uh, I would be off the bike for three, four weeks, but I think it will be much, much sooner when I really can uh, sit on the bike and ride because the, 
uh, Ashioma power middle pedals are waiting all is just assembled waiting for me the weather outside is uh, yesterday and today uh, really really amazing um, I know there is the episode about cadence the part two waiting for you but I just made like a one third of the material and the rest is still uh, waiting so hope to get on the bike as soon as possible and make the one for you. You hated my video about uh, Eurobike 2018 um, entry level hardtails. I don't know why. It's it's been so much work going to Germany, staying there for two days and filming all that. Uh, it's always difficult to to guess what kind of material would would you like. Uh, and I thought the people who are always asking me about budget bikes would be happy. Well, they weren't. If you have any any wishes in terms of the materials, just let me know because uh, I'm filming pretty much anything that's linked to cycling. I just love it. But the most important part has been and will be even more my training. Very, very soon more info about that. That's it. Uh, today just stretching and breathing exercises, maybe some walk with my wife and so, and the bikes are just hanging here. Uh, on the walls it is really really hurting me so uh, thanks for visiting and i will see you i think tomorrow or day after that with my crash i'm going to show you the crash why it happened what was the cause of the crash there were two and it's interesting lesson for me perhaps uh, for for you as well see you soon then and have a great sunday